years, scientists have sought insights into the structure, composition, and history of our universe. Despite lingering mysteries, the James Webb Telescope has unveiled a recent discovery at the universe's edge, reshaping our understanding of what lies there and its origin. Esteemed physicist Brian Cox asserts that this revelation challenges conventional physics. Surprisingly, the long-held Big Bang Theory, considered the sole explanation for the universe's origin, has been contradicted by recent findings from the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's explore the details of what the JWST has revealed at the universe's edge, how it challenges the Big Bang Theory, and Brian Cox's perspective on these revelations. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you were passionate about a task but lacked the necessary tools to accomplish it? Maybe you wanted to paint a picture but didn't have the right brushes, or you wanted to cook your favorite dish but were missing a key ingredient. It can be frustrating, right? Well, scientists have been facing similar challenges for centuries, especially when it comes to studying the universe. They have been trying to unlock the secrets of the cosmos, starting with the most basic question of all. How did the universe come into being? To answer this question, scientists need to explore the edge of the universe and study its oldest objects and formations. However, there's a problem. The equipment required for this task is beyond human capacity. It's like trying to build a tall building without a crane or bulldozer. But don't lose hope just yet, because the James Webb Space Telescope is here to save the day. The James Webb Telescope employs infrared light, invisible to the human eye, to observe the universe. By detecting faint light emitted by ancient stars and galaxies, this space-based telescope fulfills the long-awaited dreams of scientists like Brian Cox. Its unique vantage point allows us to peer into the distant reaches of the cosmos, reaching back a staggering 13.5 billion years ago, a time when the universe itself was just about 13.7 billion years old. With the James Webb Space Telescope soaring through space, our understanding of the universe and its galaxies expands as we search for the light emitted by the first stars and galaxies that emerged after the cataclysmic event known as the Big Bang. The JWST serves as a powerful tool in the study of galaxy formation, evolution, as well as the intricacies of star and planet creation. It enables researchers to investigate planetary systems and delve into the origins of life itself, to fully grasp the significance of JST's orbital position, it is necessary to comprehend the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe refers to the portion of the cosmos that we can observe and explore using space telescopes and their sophisticated instruments. Shaped like a vast sphere, it encompasses all matter that can be detected from Earth or from telescopes situated in space. The objects within the observable universe come into view because their electromagnetic radiation has had sufficient time to traverse the immense expanse of space and reach our solar system and, ultimately, Earth since the onset of cosmological expansion. According to scientific estimates, the observable universe may contain up to an astonishing two trillion galaxies. It is dubbed the observable universe due to the inherent physical limitation imposed by the speed of light. As no signal can travel faster than light, there exists a maximum distance, often referred to as the particle horizon, beyond which our instruments cannot detect anything. Consequently, there are signals from distant celestial bodies that have not yet reached us, leaving a realm of unknown galaxies shrouded in mystery. For decades, our understanding of the size of the universe has eluded us, with some even speculating that it may be infinite. This lack of certainty stems from the fact that certain regions of the universe lie too far away for the light emitted since the Big Bang to have had ample time to reach Earth or our space-based instruments, placing them outside the realm of the observable universe. While it is anticipated that in the foreseeable future, light from these distant galaxies will have traversed sufficient distances to render certain regions more observable, we must exercise caution in our optimism. This caution arises from Hubble's law, which states that regions sufficiently distant from Earth 
are receding from us at speeds exceeding that of light. Additionally, the expansion of the universe appears to be accelerating, driven by an enigmatic force known as dark energy. If dark energy remains constant, it could impose a future visibility limit beyond which objects would forever be barred from entering the observable universe. This is due to the fact that light emitted by objects beyond this limit will never reach Earth. In order to address this predicament and gain insights into galaxies residing in the observable universe whose light has not yet reached us, scientists devoted years to the development of the James Webb Space Telescope, widely regarded as the world's most versatile optical telescope. What has JWS observed at the frontier of the observable universe? Despite JWS being initially slated for a 5.5-year primary mission, NASA scientists didn't have to wait long before the telescope astounded the scientific community with yet another groundbreaking revelation. JWSAT has uncovered the existence of four primordial galaxies at the boundary of the observable universe. This remarkable discovery was made by the James Webb Space Telescope through the employment of the photoelectric method in 2022. These ancient galaxies were positioned so incredibly far away that the light they emitted had completely shifted into the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. You might be wondering why we are only now becoming aware of the existence of these colossal galaxies. The answer lies in the fact that JWST is the sole telescope capable of detecting the infrared light emanating from these distant galaxies. In naming these four galaxies, NASA scientists wasted no time. Further examination of their spectra substantiated the initial estimates, confirming that the galaxies were less than 500 million years old. The oldest among them came into existence a mere 320 million years after the Big Bang. Follow-up studies have revealed that these galaxies thrive during the epoch of Rionization, a crucial period when the first stars illuminated the cosmos. Compared to the Milky Way, which boasts a mass of 1.5 trillion solar masses, these galaxies were relatively diminutive, weighing in at a mere 100 million solar masses. Despite their modest mass, the galaxies displayed an active process of generating new celestial bodies, with numerous stars forming on an annual basis. This particular aspect of the discovery was a significant revelation for scientists. As previous models had suggested a lower rate of star formation during the Ryanization epoch. What distinguishes these four galaxies are their elongated configurations, with stars stretching from the galactic centers to their outer disks, reminiscent of our own Milky Way. This discovery has compelled astrophysicists and astronomers alike to reassess their theories of galaxy evolution. While scientists rejoice in the wealth of new knowledge brought by the discovery of galaxies, their thirst for understanding the universe remains unquenched. In 2023, their aspirations were met when the JWST detected a remarkable find, what appears to be six colossal ancient galaxies. These celestial entities, dubbed universe breakers by astronomers, have shattered long-held conceptions about cosmology injecting fresh vigor into the pursuit of knowledge. Analyzing the data acquired by the telescope, scientists have determined that these galaxies are extraordinarily ancient, tracing back to a time when the universe was a mere 3% of its present age. The revelation of these six galaxies has irreversibly shattered preconceived notions of galactic proportions. As Joel Leisure, an assistant professor at Penn State University reveals, these findings far exceed expectations, defying the assumption that only diminutive nascent galaxies would be encountered at this stage in cosmic history. We initially anticipated stumbling upon diminutive youthful galaxies, but instead we have uncovered fully matured galactic structures akin to our own during what was previously thought to be the dawn of the universe. In comparison to the four galaxies discovered by the JWST in the summer of 2022, these newfound cosmic giants are significantly larger. In an attempt to comprehend the existence of these colossal galaxies near the edge of the universe, 
scientists are compelled to reevaluate their understanding of how the first galaxies emerged from minuscule clusters of stars and cosmic debris. This paradigm-shifting revelation has cast doubt upon the prevailing narrative of early galaxy formation, as Leisha remarks, provoking a reassessment of the entire panorama of astronomical comprehension. Who could have fathomed that scientists would chance upon such unforeseen phenomena that challenge the very foundations of our knowledge? The emergence of these ancient galaxies defies existing models, which propose that following a period of rapid expansion, the universe underwent a cooling phase lasting hundreds of millions of years. This cooling period allowed gas to coalesce and collapse, giving birth to the first stars, while galaxies began to form during the enigmatic Dark Ages. However, the discovery of these enigmatic giants has taken theories about the Dark Ages on an unexpected trajectory, prompting researchers like Dr. Emma Chapman to reevaluate previously held tenets of astronomical understanding. According to Dr. Chapman, an astrophysicist at the University of Nottingham, the recent discovery of colossal galaxies shortly after the Big Bang challenges the notion of the Dark Ages being a dim period. It suggests that the universe might have experienced a profusion of star formation earlier than previously believed. These findings were made possible by the initial release of data sets from the James Webb Space Telescope. During the examination of the images, Dr. Erica Nelson, an academic at the University of Colorado Boulder, made an intriguing observation. She noticed a series of indistinct dots that exhibited an unusually intense brightness and a distinct reddish hue. In the realm of astronomy, the redder appearance signifies older celestial objects as light travels through the expanding universe and gets stretched out or redshifted. Nelson and her fellow scientists deduced that these galaxies are approximately 13.5 billion years old, implying their emergence approximately 500-700 million years following the Big Bang. Nevertheless, Chapman maintains that further observations are necessary to validate this discovery before fully revising existing models. Given the rapid pace at which the JWST has been revolutionizing theories and previous findings, it wouldn't be surprising if these new findings turned out to be accurate in due time. In their quest for more comprehensive information, scientists are planning to acquire spectrum images which can offer precise distance measurements and enable better estimates of the galaxy's mass. How did the James Webb Space Telescope come about? Initially known as Next Generation Space Technology, during its six-year development, the name choice wasn't surprising, considering NASA's goal to surpass the Hubble Space Telescope launched in 1990. The JWST's journey began with two concept studies in 1990, leading to a potential launch in 2007. However, cost overruns and delays in development led to a major redesign in 2005, resulting in a total cost of $10 billion before completion in 2016. While media reports often attribute the development solely to NASA, it's crucial to recognize the contributions of other partners, collaborative efforts involving NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. Managed by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, the telescope's operations are overseen by the Space Telescope Science Institute at John Hopkins University in Baltimore. The primary contractor, Northrop Grumman Corporation, played a key role in bringing the JWST project to fruition. Launched on an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana in January 2022, the telescope reached its Sun-Earth Lagrange Point destination. Six months later, the first web image was released, marking a significant milestone. Before the JWST, NASA had launched the Hubble Space Telescope in 1990, named after astronomer Edwin Hubble, offering valuable insights into the observable universe despite certain limitations. Unlike the HST, the JWST addresses these limitations with a larger mirror, 18 hexagonal segments made of gold-plated beryllium, providing a diameter of 6.5 meters. This size enables a wide range of investigations across astronomy and cosmology, 
with a light collecting area roughly six times greater than the Hubble. The JWST focuses on a lower frequency range, necessitating maintenance at extremely low temperatures to prevent interference from its own infrared emissions. Positioned near the Sun-Earth Lagrange point, the JWS orbits between 250,000 and 832,000 kilometers away. Its strategic location ensures optimal functioning by staying clear of Earth's and Moon's shadows. The telescope features a five-layer sun shield, crafted with delicate materials to block intrusion of light and heat, allowing it to operate seamlessly in its halo orbit. The sun shield's unique design includes a folding mechanism, allowing it to fit within the payload compartment of the Ariane 5 rocket. Despite the rocket's modest diameter, the shield's 12-fold concertining is achieved. The JWST's primary mirror, coated with gold, exhibits exceptional infrared reflectivity and durability. While primarily optimized for near-infrared astronomy, the JWST's capabilities extend to perceiving orange light and mid-infrared spectra, surpassing the Hubble in sensitivity. This allows detection of objects a hundred times fainter than the Hubble, reaching back to a cosmic time approximately 180 million years after the Big Bang. The JWST's development was prompted by the Hubble's limitations, expanding observational capabilities beyond the Hubble's reach. Designed for near to mid-infrared regions, the JWST overcomes hurdles in studying objects shifting into the infrared spectrum, crucial for investigating distant and early celestial phenomena. Its capacity to observe objects within our solar system at extreme angles and rapid angular motion further enhances its scientific potential. With an expected two-decade lifespan, the JWST promises to provide valuable insights into the observable universe, including the potential discovery of more massive galaxies, deepening our understanding of post-Big Bang events. So, this seems enough for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.